dearly loved sister Rose Bogosian. We gather together in memory of our sister who has departed for her heavenly home. With life, there is always the reality of death. We turn to our Lord Jesus Christ, who through his life, his death, and his resurrection taught us the meaning of eternal life. Chaplain, what are the assurances given us by our Lord Jesus concerning our heavenly home? Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many mansions. If you are not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Peace, I have, I have, I leave, I leave you with my peace I give you. You heard me say, I am going away and I'm coming back to you. What is the meaning of life eternal? Now is this eternal life that they may know you, the only true God in Jesus Christ whom I have sent. Dear friends, for those who do not have the hope of resurrection and do not understand these heavenly truths, death descending on their homes brings darkness and grief. We know that death is an inevitable occurrence. Life and death are part of our experience on earth. Our earthly life has a beginning and an end. Our heavenly life also has a beginning, but has no end. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains by itself alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. When we understand this promise of eternal life, we are able to face death bravely. Knowing God through Christ assures us of the glorious reality of our eternal life. As daughters of our time, we profess our belief in eternal life. May our sister inspire us to lead a fuller life and to, at the end of this life to face death without fear. Though her memory may we be mindful of our vows and obligations, carry on our task with resolute determination. We will not bid farewell to our sister Rose, for she continues to be with us in spirit. In the words of the Apostle Paul, this mortal is vested with life eternal. Death is submerged in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? We thank God for the victory he offers us through our Lord Jesus Christ. We would like to give our condolences to Brother Peter and your family, and we know you'll miss your dear brother very much. At this time, I would like to invite you to stand and join us in singing the higher mayor in our meeting. <coughs>
greet all of you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And on behalf of the Bogosian, Gracies, and Myers families, I extend a cordial welcome to all of you to this special memorial service which is devoted to the sweet and immortal memory of Mrs. Rose Bogosian, who was a long time faithful member of this congregation. Usually on such occasions, somebody stands up and says, we're here to pay our last respects. Well, we're not here to pay our last respects because we'll respect Rose as long as we live. We're here to pay a special tribute to Mrs. Rose Bogosian because through her unselfish love, gentle and kind disposition, she has impacted the lives of all of us. <coughs> Let us bow our heads for the prayer. Our loving and gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for Jesus, our Savior, who answers all our questions about life and death, who meets all our physical and spiritual needs, and who satisfies all the legitimate cravings of our hearts. We also thank you for the Christian faith that Rose Bogosian had and the devoted service that she rendered to the church. Help us, Father, to realize that Jesus Christ, through his vicarious death at Calvary, and his triumphant resurrection, has won a victory in which all his followers are destined to share. By submitting to death, Jesus conquered it, defeated it, and destroyed its power and made heaven accessible to all who in their lifetime place their faith and trust in him. May we not mourn as those who have no hope, but live in anticipation of the day when we'll be united with all our loved ones in your eternal kingdom. Wipe away all our tears and through the Holy Spirit provide comfort and consolation for all of us. Through the comfort of the scriptures, may we all be lifted up above our distress and be brought into the light and presence of Jesus Christ our Lord, in whose blessed name we pray. Amen. <coughs> 